And welcome back to part three of What Goku had landed on the lookout and was adopted by Kami. I didn't get to it yesterday, I already explained it in the previous video, um, the uh, Hitman wife bodyguard review, why that happened. Long story short, had a date date with a girlfriend, just, we haven't had one in a while, and I just tie ran out during the day. Doing it now, catching up though. So last time on the Dragon Ball Z What If, Goku had pretty much wiped the Red Ribbon Army off the face of the Earth like a smear like he did last time. Which leads us basically now into, I can't remember which World Martial Arts Tournament, what number it is, the one with Tien. Now, is, is Goku still, Goku's obviously still going periodically up to Kami's. He can, because Goku knows how to fly in this one. He generally uses the magic carpet for instant movement, but he can go up to Kami's whenever he actually wants to. He can fly on his own. Uh, he just hasn't shown it off very much. But he hasn't periodically going to Kami's, you know, telling him what's going on. And Kami actually hasn't, has been making sure not to keep an eye on Goku, just so, you know, he can learn about, uh, you know, the world through Goku's eyes, all that. And kind of acting like a father, letting him have this. And getting, Goku getting more experience in the world is, all big, uh, is a big thing. Goku also says that he wants to participate in this martial arts tournament coming up. And uh, Kami, you know, thinks on it for a little bit. He's like, I don't really see why you catch Goku. Well, I mean, like I said, like I said before, you, while, we hope to, while we've hoped that you'll be a guardian of this of world, you're not the guardian of the planet. You're not, you don't have my title. You can go where you please and how you please. They, oh, all right, don't worry. I, I promise I'll be back. I promise I'll be back. If anything, maybe you guys can like watch from, watch from the lookout and see how well I do. And they kind of just have a laugh. <laughs> uh, perhaps we can. Uh, perhaps we will. And that's what Goku does. Goku decides to participate in this martial arts tournament. Now, keep in mind, Goku's power right now is right about where he is by the end. Ugh, straightened myself out of there. Uh, by the end of Dragon Ball. So, around the 260 area. Uh, but uh, that still puts him leagues above anyone here at this part, point in the story. So, he gets there and he meets up with everyone. He's like, hey, guys. Oh, this is this is Goku. Goku, you're here. He's like, yep, I'm going to participate in the martial arts tournament this year. He's like, Oh, really? That's going to be interesting. Uh, he's like, indeed. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, it'll be good to have give these whippersnappers some rivals. Uh, and Master Roshi actually, well, actually, he's the champion as Jackie Chun, so he actually has to show up. Um, so, uh, it'll be interesting to see how, uh, what, you, what you've what you been doing. Indeed. I can't remember which, uh, you know, Shin's voice. I think that was the name, Shin. Crane School teacher's voice was, but uh, I was like, mm -hmm, Crane. Say, ah, hello to Mutenro. Muton Roshi, how have you been? Uh, fine till now. Uh, say, who, uh, Master Roshi, uh, Master Roshi, who's this? Uh, say, no, where, uh, rival school in my, he runs the rival school in my, the crane school. Oh, tell me, Roshi, have you been, uh, learned how to do this yet? And, you know, he shows off the flying technique. He's like, oh, you can fly too? Hmm? What do you mean, fly too? We invented this technique, boy. He's like, um, uh, Hey, no, he did. <laughs> and Goku's Goku's people skills still don't need worry. Like he knows when to like not tell seriously bad news or anything like that. Like, he's not stupid. But with this kind of reaction, he very much is like, um, actually, we I already know how to fly. And he shows off. I was like, what? Like, oh, that's right. The boy did show off. He know how to fly. <laughs> I said, like, eh, eh, the Zagiwari's original. You thought you were. I was like, Ugh. where'd you learn that boy? Oh, I learned it from Kami. You learned it from. God, what are you, religious or something? Uh, no, what? <laughs> like, Goku's even like, uh, what? Well, whatever. Still doesn't matter. We wiped the floor with you. Isn't that right, Tien? Like, right, Master. Uh, and then, and soon we'll find out, find out who was, and, you know, and do they, now, do they learn about Goku being the one that killed General Tao? And in this case, I do think he actually killed General Tao, by the way. Uh, I mean, granted, he, General Tao got a grenade to the face, but the thing is, General Tao, and that was in the original. In this version, Goku, General Tao doesn't give up, I'm sure. He still tries to, you know, throw the grenade after getting this shit thoroughly kicked out of him far worse than Goku did. And at that point, I think he actually does die in this version. Um, <clears throat> so Goku, uh, you know, they, they, do they find out that it was Goku? I think yes. And I think, you know, he tries to assassinate Goku, but Goku is just like, nope. And he's like, and, you know, he tries and, you know, they, they square off. It's like, no, enough of this. And so that goes on. All the matches go basically the same up until you finally get to Tien versus Goku. And obviously the difference 
in power. Basically, it's the final fight they have in the uh, when in the last martial arts tournament in Dragon Ball. But Goku's younger. Go, go. Tien can still give Goku a firm fight, absolutely. But it's one of those things where it's like Goku's still just better trained uh, overall because he's been trained by Popo and Kami. Better trained, more powerful, just physically strong, just physically stronger than he is. Um, just physically more effective than he is. And ultimately, you know, Goku takes him to the sky after t- after the whole debacle with Shin is uh, taken care of. And, you know, they kick his ass out. <clears throat> they go toe-to-toe. And ultimately, Goku's the winner of this martial arts. Like, wow, I won! Awesome! Uh, how much any... Uh, well, I don't really know what to do with it. Here's your prize money! He's like, oh, I don't really know what... To-. Goku doesn't know what to do with prize money. <laughs> he really doesn't. Uh, it's like, uh, well, I mean, do you guys want it? It's like, uh, what? It's like, yeah, but I don't really need money that much. And, well, I mean, I, I, I guess if, uh, sure, I mean, he's like, yeah, or, um, wait, I know what we can do. We can all go to dinner. It's like, uh, <laughs> it's like, I, I mean, my, Goku's not dumb. He knows the concept of money, currency and all that. In this version, he's very much aware of that. He just has no, just like Goku in the original, he has no need for it. The way he lives, where he lives, how he lives, he has no need for it. But it's like, he said, figures he'll just treat everyone to food. Uh, and so, yeah. They go out and they have dinner. Now, here's the interesting thing. He doesn't have the power pole. There's no reason for Krillin to go off and get killed by Tambourine. So everyone's there. And they're all having fun. But Goku, remember, in the original, Goku didn't have the ability to sense power levels. Here he does. So when Tambourine shows up, and I think Tambourine actually focuses on uh maybe actually focuses on where they're like the area maybe focuses in on them but no there's no guarantee that goku does focus in and he senses it and it feels you see there's no indication of what the energy level feel what the energy feels like from tambourine or drum we know that they're the offspring of king piccolo so it's probably a bastardized version of his energy signature and we know uh, kami and piccolo were once the same thing so we know it's a bastardized version of, it would feel like an altered version of Kami's. So a bastardized altered version of Kami. Like, Goku can't pinpoint. It's like, it feels weirdly familiar, but in just like a really warped way. Goku's like, uh, Goku's like uh, hold on, everyone. We have company. And he, Goku heads out, goes out, and he sees, he sees Tambor, he's like, ah, so you're the one who's, uh, whose energy I'm sensing. Oh, so many strong warriors here, but yours is the one that stands out, boy. Who are you? You, it, your energy feels familiar, but I don't recognize you. <laughs> you don't need to know that. All you, but I will give you the respect of not knowing the name. Tabarine, Lord King Piccolo's loyal, most loyal servant. I will t- and I will have, and you will die. <laughs> and he hears that voice. And remember, he's lived with Kami now for about, who, how old is Go- Goku at this point? 14, if it's three, five years between tournaments. You're actually, Goku's, yeah. Isn't Goku like some odd amount of, yeah, isn't he like 17 at this point? Something like that? I want to say he's 17 at this point. Um, or close enough to it. Uh, so, or was it? Or was that when they did the three years instead? I can't remember, damn it. Well, I, either way, Goku's anywhere between 15 to 17 at this point. So he's a little taller. Um, like, he's still that shrimp. But once he, obviously, he'll grow up into his true adult body after, you know, the next time skip. But, um... Uh, wow, I don't even know where I was going with that. Um, go, go, yeah, Goku's been living with uh, Kami and Popo for mm, over, you know, ha- over a decade and a half now, and he's very much aware. Kami's told him his backstory before. He knows who King Piccolo is, and it's like King Piccolo. It's like, oh, you've heard of him? Of course, Kami told me all that, and that causes a, a tambourine to hesitate. Like, no, Kami, perhaps you might be useful to King Piccolo. But I might not, I, I mean, I'll, you'll die either way, but at least l- I'll let you live a bit longer if you come and give us information on Kami. Like, uh, it's like I'll give you, and I'll give you all the information you need, and then just disappears. Hunt is just, boom, just, oh, you little brat. Just, boom, comes up again, and your shoulder right into the face. How are you been? He just starts literally beating the hell out of him. Boom, boom. Where's King Piccolo? I was like, oh, I'll never tell you. And all of a sudden, and Goku's like, oh, just, you know, hones in. And Goku's eating a bit here, so he's not hungry. 
at least not to the point where he'd be like, you know, weakened to the point where he got his ass kicked by Tambourine. Because afterwards he ate and he was fine. He got, and then he, I think he beat Tambourine down pretty hard. But he's just, he's just uh, uh, and it's like, mm, and he's focusing it. I sense him. And it's like, what? It's like, how do you think I, it's like, how do you think I found you? I can sense your energy. It's like, I, you, uh, yeah, I fuck you, I uh, forget to you, I'll kill you just like, a, just like, and the Goku actually goes like, Cole's like, no, you won't. Boom! <laughs> just, head's gone. Just, uh. <laughs> It's like, well, sorry guys, I need to go. Look after each other. Here's the rest of the money. Dinner's on me, and then, you know, just flies off and heads straight to the lookout. And say, like, call me, call me! It's like, Goku, uh, Goku, you're, you're all right. Uh, we, we could sense the, we could sense the fight on the ground. What happened? King, it's King Pic, it's Piccolo. He's back. Mm, that's what I feared, then. Uh, what do we do? I mean, we can't. Uh, uh, well, uh, well, he was. We can't kill. You know, if what you said, we can't kill him. The Dragon Balls will be gone. If he's going around killing people, we're gonna. We need them to bring him back. Mm, and and Kami's just like. Uh, uh, truth be told, I have cons I have often considered uh, be ridding, uh, being rid of the Dragon Balls. What? Uh, the Dragon Balls bring can bring much hope and great and great fortune to many, but uh, they are also temptations to those who uh, who profess evil. I, ca I cannot guarantee into world safety as long as they exist. Uh, if Piccolo is gone, then the Dragon Balls will no longer exist as well. But then you'll be dead too, aren't you? Won't you? Like, I I'm not ready. We can't let you do that, Kami. You're too important. And Kami's just looking at it. Mm, I understand, but we don't have many options. Well, how did he, how did he, was he defeated the last time? We sealed him away after, our, uh, after we split, but unfortunately he was found. And then Goku makes the proper questions like, why was he kept on Earth? Um, it's a good question. Peel off and the gang found Piccolo sealed and, un and released him. Which meant he had to be on Earth. Yes, in GT, they did make it to the lookout, but that's that was dumb. Let's be honest, that was very dumb. Most of GT is very dumb. Um, <clears throat> but, um, yeah, um... Why it is uh, is it, you know, Kami, I did wonder why you chose to do that. I, uh, um, well, um, uh, it's all right, Kami. We all make mistakes. And Kami just doesn't have an answer. He's caught with his pants down. And that's like, well, well, can't we just seal him again? Uh, can't we just seal him again? It's like, it's not that simple. And if I'm not mistaken, it was actually uh, Mutan Roshi's master who sealed Piccolo, but still, he was sealed away. Um... But why don't we just do that again? Why don't we see the money again? It, it will be it will be difficult. Although I sense your, uh, I'll sense your strength is is still greater than it is at the moment, Goku. If you were to meet in combat, you would defeat him. You could kill him. Say, I'm not doing that unless it's absolutely necessary, Kami, and it's not necessary yet. And it's like, well, it, you have <laughs> Gago Naruto. Believe it. Um, there's gotta be another way. And God, Kami just smiles and is like. Always the always looking out for everyone, even even when he doesn't have to. <laughs> you really would have made a great guardian, Goku. And uh, so very well, very well. well. There is a technique known as the Mafaba on this. Uh, on uh, uh, there aren't many who know it still, but you, uh, when someone uh, if you could learn it and create a proper sealing container, uh, container, we might be able to uh, we might be able to seal picking Piccolo away again. Great, who knows it? Actually, you've met a man who knows it. The the old turtle of Bhutan Roshi. And so it's like, oh, great, Popo, can I take the comet? Of, of course, Goku. And so he goes off, and he meets up with Roshi after, you know, looking for him. Roshi! And he's like, oh, Goku, what's going on? It's like, uh, it's like, eh, uh, we need to talk. And he explains how King Kiko is back, and this is Roshi now in complete seriousness. I see. So, it, so the ceiling didn't take. Uh, yeah, but I need you, and if, you, if we can't seal him again, then if we can't seal him again, then, you know, I'm going to have no choice but to kill him. But if I kill him... The Dragon Balls are going to be gone forever. See, uh, that would be problematic. Those things can be quite useful, from what I'm told. Um, yeah, from what I'm told. Uh, well, we have no choice. I'll do it. No, Groshi. Groshi, if you do it now, you might. It might. It might be too much on you. We don't have much option, Goku. It's like, what if I did it? You? And like, yeah, that's why I came here to learn it. And like, you learn the. You learn the Mafama? Well, actually, that's not a bad idea. You're clearly strong. As much as I don't like to him, as he, as hard as it is to see the younger generation surpass me, it is also gratifying. You are very much beyond my strength, Goku. 
So you should be able to handle them off of a lot better than I would at my age. Very well. They spend a certain amount of time learning it. I mean, it's super. It really didn't take Goku that long to learn the damn thing. So um, I don't imagine it take Goku that long either. And then they prepare, prepare a sealing container for him. Um, and so uh, and so they go. And eventually they meet King Vill So you're the one I've been sensing. The power. And Goku, to lure him out, did find the four-star ball. And so, because that's why King Piccolo was after him, because he had the four-star ball, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, Goku is saying, it's like, you want this? Come and get it. You you don't know what you're asking, boy, but I'll be happy to take it and your life. And then Goku just, like, just quickly just throws out the container. like, what? Oh, you you really think you can mafu? Bah! Well, the evil, also evil containment wave. Evil can I always like to say that evil containment wave. Evil containment wave. What? No, no, not again. No, I will not be sealed again. And he's fight, trying to fight him. I said, like, "You don't have a choice." And then just boom. And then Drum tries to come in and say, Rrr. "But he and Roshi was like, uh, let the boy work." That's right. you heard him. Just boom, blast Drum. They they're able to take Drum together, and goes like, yeah, seals him away. It's like, whew. That was, that was intense. And they all say, that a little brat again. Ah. And say, ah, wow, that's it. We're going to have to store him somewhere safe this time. We know just the place. On the lookout. No one ever, no, most people can't get there normally anyway. So it's a perfect place to keep Piccolo this time. And then obviously Popo comes, actually Popo comes with the flying carpet this time around. Because he let Goku do his own thing. The flying carpet went back to Popo. I said, ah, oh, Goku, it seems you did well. And all I'm putting aside Popo, there's Kami. It's like, what, Ka Kami, you're down here? Yes, I don't know him. Yes, cigar. Cigar Kami. It's like, indeed. You're, you're was quite spry for an old a man of your age. You're one to talk, Kami. <laughs> and they both share a lousy. Like, Boy, do you know each other? No, but us old timers know. You know can relate to each other pretty well. Indeed, we can. You've done a fine job raising this boy. It's like, in, yes. It was my hope that one day he might have been taken over me as guardian. But now I see. But uh, I've come, in these late, most recent years, I've come to realize his talents. Uh, his talents and skills are uh, far too great for him to be wasted sitting out there looking over the earth. And no question, or no argument on that. So what do you plan to do with Piccolo? You'll be spending it. We will be sealing him away in deep into uh, deep on the, in the lookout. Some of, and some of the more and just eludes just like maybe like some special rooms because we don't know all the rooms in the lookout by the way. We know the pendulum room, which was the anime only, but we know the spirit room, the spirit in time. There's in the anime there was a black water mist. But there's, um, <clears throat> there's actually probably a few rooms in there that have special purposes. And one that's probably maybe a room of ceiling. So I have a couple of special room on the lookout just for ping the piccolo. He will not be causing trouble again. Uh, oh, at least not, uh, not in this life. Uh, and so they stow and take piccolo away. It's like, Goku, why don't you, oh, uh, Goku, I think it's time we, uh, we go to the next step of your training. Uh, it's oh, sweet. After all, you have a, you have to defend your title in a few years, don't you? <clears throat> oh, that's right. <laughs> and Goku realizes all this time. He's like, that's right. I'm the world martial arts champion, aren't I? <laughs> he just does the kind of like the the. <laughs> like, oh, that's right. Don't think I'll be losing to you next time, Goku. I'm gonna be training tw uh, twice as hard. Oh, better make it. Better make it five times as hard against this lad. <laughs> and they both kind of have a laugh. Uh, actually, Tia and I have a. Actually, Tia and I have. A, I've been wondering about that. Is he wondering? Wait, what? Wait, you know my name? I'm Kami. I'm, I, I look over all and know many. I know much. Uh, would you kind of would you kind of join uh, just at the lookout for a few, oh, at least for a short time of training? It could do you. It could do you and Goku some uh, both some good. Bes uh, besides, part of Goku's training will be much better, more beneficial if he has a partner for or a piece of it. <laughs> so I mean, I mean, I'd be on and you know, Kami's and he's like I'd be on, but um. What about Chiaotzu? And, you know, they obviously, they did still kill, like, Chiaotzu and other individuals, so they bring him back. And, um, they, uh, and, uh, say, well, Chiaotzu, Chiaotzu's more than welcome to come along for a time. Um, I mean, I mean, of course, uh, thank you, but I, I actually think, actually, what, but there might be some needs for preparation. What, uh, what I'm asking is a very unique training that will be going on, and will be dotting in a little while. So take your time to train here, uh, train here. I'll come to... I'll come for you in a, uh, in a year's time, or uh, probably not a year's time. Probably because again, thinking about five years and about four years time, roughly. Because honestly, what I'm alluding to is hyperbolic time chamber, and it's going to be a lot easier for Goku if he has a partner to train with in there to keep him more sane. 
Um, <clears throat> so in the next four years of the training, you know, Tien, we know Tien's power level is 180. We, I don't know what it was by the time he fought Goku the next time around. It was, it was probably higher, but we just don't know by what. Let's say if he is training hard to take on Goku, and Goku's training hard before an eye fought time chamber, hmm, four years? Respectively for Goku, I'm gonna I'm gonna give him an even times four, and even though it's, he's already kind of at his canon power level already, right? or for that time, I'm gonna just say he's at a thousand. Tien isn't nearly as high, but I'm, I'm gonna give him just a straight times two for the time being. Man, make it, let's actually just round him up for 400 for even numbers. Well, even numbers for round even numbers, 400. Like he's really putting all that effort into taking on Goku. <clears throat> so when that year comes, like ah, oh, Tien Chotsu, call me as ass for you. Like, yes, Popo. Uh, thank you, Mr. Popo. And they meet Goku and say, they see Goku and say, hey, guys. Like, oh, Goku. Yeah. <laughs> Not the little squirt anymore. Yeah. No, I guess they have grown a little bit. So uh, it, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, me too. And so they spend another good uh, half of the year to, you know, three quarters of the year or whatever. Because we know it's only one day in the Hyperout Time Chamber. It's only gonna have, they're only going to do it the one time this time around. That um, uh, they're trading. And. Now it's Goku, who actually slows down in his progression, probably goes to maybe like 1,100, whereas Tien is able to hit all the way up to like the 600 because he's got Goku to train against and really improve himself against. And, you know, it really, you know, helps, fills out the um, fills out the difference where now Tien's a little over half as strong as Goku. Now you might be asking, well, what about Krillin? Well, Krillin's busy doing his own thing. Krillin's also not as close to Goku in this as he was in the original, even though he still views Goku as a rival. And, you know, Krillin probably is still working his ass off. Absolutely. But um, it's still not it's still not the point where they need to be. So eventually comes the day of the Hyperbolic Time Chamber training. And that's where we're only at the low 20s in terms of their time. So I'll, I'll just detail where they are that before we get to the martial arts tournament. Um, now, with, now, here's the thing, actually. I do think Tien's going to go twice. Goku's only going to go the once, and that's because he wants to take Chiaotzu at least once as well, because Chiaotzu is his friend and training partner. Chiaotzu's also gotten stronger, too, but obviously we know from, you know, the Daisenshi, Chiaotzu's power does not rely, is not martial arts, and it's key. You no, know, it's his psychic abilities are really the strongest things he has. Uh, <clears throat> so, when Goku, so when Goku and Tien go in, they still are struggling, but they have each other to keep each other sane. So... They are training and going forth. And one thing that I haven't touched upon is Goku's ape form. Goku had, at this point, before we got into the, this, this new training arc, had learned to control himself in ape form, more or less. Four more years, not only has he learned to control himself in ape form, but I also like the, I've always liked the idea of being able to go into it without using the moon. More like, um, was it? Psych like a visualization. Visualize the moon and use that to just pump yourself up in the ape form. The only difference is here is that I think it's more Ikari than it is Uzaru. Basically, doing it through visualiza visualization is basically the ultimate form of Uzaru in the sense that I've now got all the power of the ape. I buff up a little bit, but that's about it. And he goes maybe a bit more primal. Obviously, he gets the yellow eyes and all that. So he's basically got his own transformation now if he needs it. <clears throat> And occasionally he'll use that against Tien to really, like, hammer it home, and Tien trains against that. So we know it's time, tense gravity in the hyperbolic time chamber. We know the uh, the farther you get in there, the more the actual in the environment atmosphere gets more intense. So why it's suitable, so suitable for training. And, whew, okay, so a full year in there, with Goku at 1,100, Tien at 600. I would put... I'm not just going to go straight time 10, obviously. They're going to go much higher than that. I would put Goku, and it's unfair to say, people keep trying to argue this with me, and you can try to argue it if you want. The Saiyans are naturally stronger than humans. They progress naturally faster because of their Zenkai, and if you even look at an average Saiyan warrior, even the low-level ones, like adult low-level ones, still had several hundred in terms of their power levels. The average low-class Saiyans. Hell, the guy, what was it, Beats? who's read uh, Broly's power level, was a very average, low-class Saiyan overall. And uh, he read Go Broly's power level was like a 9-something. He said, I'm not even that strong right now. But that's implying that he's probably more like a 5 or a 600 on the scale. The average human is a 5. That farmer that Rad saw was a 5. The strongest humans, up until we had the instruction of, you know, real intense training methods, the Saiyans, all that, 
were low hundreds. Roshi could maybe hit the thousands at his peak. And that's only for a short amount of time. So I don't want to get any on, on my case. I was like, oh, you know, humans can progress. Just, no, 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 they, they can't. Sorry, they can't. Uh, they, they, that's just not the way it works. That We've had too much evidence to suggest that's not the way that works. But yeah, Goku, I'm going to say, I guess, an affectionate 20 times, which puts him at, um, that would be on about 22,000. Also, and then he... Also, he's still, tra you know, he keeps training with the Ikari, because that's still something that would be new to him. So he's training with the Ikari, you know, work on it, get it to, uh, you know, focus the uh, the technique down and just contain it more, factor in the rate, all that. Now, Tien still gets, I think, like a 15 times boost. I th still think he gets a major boost. And that would put him from 600 all the way up to, and if I get my math on that right, Ted died that, 9,000. So he's still leagues below Goku, but that's the thing. Tien and when they come out, they're like, "Wow, that was great!" It's like we're so much stronger. Like, yeah, but I'm still nowhere near close enough to be matching you, Goku. Oh, come on, don't say that. That's why. I, but that's why I'd actually like to request Mr. Popo. It's like, hmm? you said what you said in a light time. A person can only go what two times, right? Oh, I still got one more time. That's right, Goku. Do you want to go in again? Actually, if it's all right with you, I'd. Let's chat soon. You, uh, what you'd like to train, train for a whole year in this? Oh, really, Tien? Yeah, of course. You're my oldest friend, and and I I don't try I don't almost do nothing without you. And if that's all right with you, well, the the luckily luckily the resources reset automatically, so you'll have enough for another year's worth of food. But that's not only up to, if you want to, Goku. What about you? And Goku's like, oh man, but I think I'm gonna save that just in case. You never know what might be coming there. So I, I do want to hold off. I want to save my la my last time for uh, for an emergency. So like, yeah, that's fair. All right, Shotsu, you ready? Ready. It's like, right, and they go in. Now, they're not going to improve anywhere near as much in this time as they did originally. But what I do think happens is that, first off, Chaozu is probably going to be much stronger than he was when he fought the Saiyans. His power level is documented at like 684, 694. He barely had 700. Like, he was, he couldn't even take a sight of it on. Um, <clears throat> but I think here, with a whole year in the Hyperbolic Time Chamber... Honestly, 1,500, I think, seems very reasonable for Jiaotzu. I think that's a very reasonable number, especially where he is right now in Dragon Ball numbers. Tien doesn't grow anywhere near as fast, but he does grow to at least almost even out Goku. I think he grows to like an 18,000. He doubles his power overall because training with someone weaker than you is going to cause your growth to be slowed. And that's just the way it is. So, or not, that's... That seems so matter-of-fact and douchey of me. But that's, that is proven. That's why Tien doesn't grow as strong as a lot of the other fighters, though. Because he constantly is training with Chaozu, who's nowhere near as strong and not, frankly, not a good training partner in that sense. He, he's not able to push himself against Chaozu. Um, so it takes longer for him to get, or get stronger, but ultimately he still gets stronger and he's able to even out. And they see, he's like, I see, you two, you two oh, have made, uh, grown quite this, uh, quite little. Uh, tell me, Goku, how was your, what did you dub it? Oh, yeah, I, well, uh, Ikari, yeah, Ikari, well, the Ikari transformation. Have you... Managed to um, master it. Yeah, I think so. And, you know, he powers up. And then, you know, as I, and the muscles, they still bulge. He's basically like Super Saiyan, pretty much. They still bulge. His hair still gets more wild and spiky. He's obviously still got his tail and his eyes are yellow. Like, I see quite the pause. Like, yeah. Yeah, I might be able to. I'm almost evened you out in your base form. But when you go into that, there's no way I can catch you up. Uh, it's like, sorry. It's like, no, if anything, it just gives me a bigger amount to climb, Goku. So, honestly, in this version, Tien and Goku are much closer friends than Krillin and Goku are. Uh, but it's, I, can, I can still feel like there's something more beyond this. Like, there's something, like, my primal DNA is just, there's something in my DNA that's just primal. It wants to be let out. Hint, hint, hint. <laughs> like, gee, subtle foreshadowing of where am I going with that? And if anyone knows where I'm going to go with that, I've done it several times in these what ifs. But I always like doing it because I think it is a natural canon progression to do that. I think it's the, I think there's a, a canon way to do that, and I think that's the way to. Obviously, I'm not gonna. If you're new to the channel, I'm not gonna tell you what I'm implying. Someone in the comments can do that if they feel like spoiling that. Um, but anyway, so that's where we'll leave off for when the next March large tournament. And it's like it's like Goku. Just just promise me that if we, when if and when we meet up in the finals, you're gonna leave a car a car uh, at the door. Of course, that's the, I, I wouldn't want to. You know, I wouldn't want to. Um, but I wouldn't want to do that to you, man. 
And he's like, I want, I want to, I want to, you know, have an even fight, man. Like, Absolutely. You know, you like get the fist bump. Dragon Ball! Yeah, and that's where we end part three with Tien and Goku kind of basically being like the main heroes now of the story. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. It's the week of what if coming up. So this next part, uh, part four, is going to be up on Thursday. But uh, until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. I'll do a review at some point. Hit that bell if you want to be notified. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you folks later.